to a month around BC and Alberta, maybe further east. Got everything packed up. Can you ever have enough stuff? Who knows, right? But I think I got enough to definitely get by. Off to Grand Forks to see if I can get my spare tire fixed and then carry on from there. Be sure to follow. And I'm off. Just leaving Christina Lake. Grand Forks, pick up a few things and then uh, head northwest. Beautiful day for driving. See if I can find myself a little campsite or just boondocking. We'll see. And kilometers starting are 252,440 just for uh, interest's sake. Gotta see if my phone's repaired. If not, I'll take my old one with me. Hello! Hey, what's happening? How much? Any luck on my phone or? Yes. Oh, goody. Yes. So, you got your SIM card? Uh, yep, yeah. I got the other phone here. Put it in there. Well, I got the phone fixed and the lens was cracked. Way better uh, camera on this one. And I got the old one just in case too. It's got to be carefully said till uh, dries well. Now off to the dollar store. Get some supplies. Good, we got two bags of stuff from the dollar store. Should have enough to last at least a week if I wanted to. Food. Now I gotta go see if I can get the spare tire fixed. Valve stem. Then we'll see you later, Grand Forks. Just past E Hold Summit. Going through a little pass on the way to Greenwood. Looks like they're winding the roads here a lot. A lot of rock down. Along the river midway. Raven. Must have found something. Hiking trail. Use caution. Watch for loose rocks and earth. Okay. So I'm to the west of the Riverside Camp area. Well, I decided to come back to the Boundary Creek Provincial Park. That Greenwood site three is by the creek here. Beautiful. Take a hike around after I set up camp a bit. $18 a night, that's not bad, including GST. And I'll see if I can send up the drone either tonight or tomorrow morning before I carry on the trip.
having chicken tonight. Thought I'd uh, have a chicken. A little frozen, but it should thaw out here right away. If the cooler, it works great when I'm driving, but I really don't have the power source to keep it going all night. So, I'll just buy meat, and this that can expire or whatever, I'll just buy meat for the day and then cook it at night type of thing. I'll keep for probably a good 12 hours, because when I'm driving it, it works fine. But So I'll eat up this, then I'll have pork chops for breakfast. But who's to say you can't have pork chops for breakfast? Beautiful spot. And all set up. And we'll head further west, north, past uh, Kelowna tomorrow, up that way, and see if we can find a provincial park or a place to camp around there. But it's the first night in the van. Chicken turned out good. Just gonna dig in. Got him more than I need, but uh, I'll burn it off walking around and hiking and whatnot. Woo! Good stuff. Well, pretty good day, first day. Didn't get too far, but that's a plan, kind of planned that. I didn't get out of the home base until about 12.30, so just wanted to get to a decent area set up and uh, see how everything's going to work out. Get all the electronics working and uh, we're going to store everything. But so far, so good. Tomorrow will be another day. No reception here, no cell service. So uh, it's kind of good. I can't contact anyone. No one can contact me. I see there is a few messages on the voicemail, but I can't call anybody back. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow because I'm taking it easy for a while. I'll eat up my dinner, set up some more camp, maybe try and download some uh, videos into a file. So when I got reception, uh, got some internet service, I can upload some stuff. But we'll call it a night uh, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Day two.